Greetings, beloved hearts, sacred travelers, seekers, the light workers, the light bearers, the way showers, the star seeds. Welcome to Ascension Star Portal. My divinity to yours. Thank you. If you are returning, welcome and thank you if you are new. Today we begin the first of the five part series of Archangel Michael's. Clearing, cleansing and protecting sessions. Today will be about cutting cords. And it is advised that you follow the series in each of the parts that it will be delivered for it is working synergistically with what is needed in your life personally to help the collective consciousness. I ask that you become quiet and shut off from your mind, your heart, your body, any and all types of distractions by setting the intention with the Creator to allow you these, these moments, the, this time, to connect in a more serene and tranquil way with divine energies, with Archangel Michael, who will be the channel throughout the series will be the messenger of a channel through me throughout the series. If you wish, you may listen to me with your eyes closed at this time, for I wish to share a little bit on Archangel Michael, who I will refer to as Michael, but with absolute respect and divine sovereignty. So as you listen with your eyes open or closed, it is your wish to take in a little bit of briefing to understand who he is for those that are not familiar with his energies or his characteristics and purpose in our lives in a non-physical, very sentient and divine way. This is Archangel Michael to give you a visual, a mighty being, a warrior, very handsome actually, energetically and pictorially, and he carries the sword of truth and fights for justice on many levels. You are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones and home. I will leave this I will place this against the soda light crystal to give you a visual for those that wish to have their eyes open or you can take it in and close your eyes and understand for straight after the briefing we will be traveling through the channel so it is important that you are prepared for the very immediate transmission. Archangel Michael is a chief prince of the heavenly, celestial, the cosmic and galactic realms. He is who is known as who is like God. His name means who is like God. He is ranked the closest to the creator almost a right-hand man energy and many beings of light in many different levels of consciousness need to go through him to get through the creator and if you get through Archangel Michael you can be assured of a positive outcome. 
Archangel Michael has incredible spiritual authority, a very warrior leader-like being of light, a champion for justice, and again, I repeat, he carries the sword of truth and justice. He manages and oversees many, many projects throughout the planet, the cosmos, the multiverse. And he respects human free will and will only intervene personally in your life or collectively with permission for the highest and greatest good of all concerned. His energy is unlimited and travels through consciousness beyond our understanding and he can and will be present in many places all at once simultaneously. Archangel Michael helps with protection, with safety, with cleansing and clearing. He protects against evil, enemies and helps you clear old patterns and cycles he helps you clear and purify from toxicity and everything dark and dreary he gravitates very easily and even without request to light workers to light bearers to light weavers to many of those that are in their light and are working for the highest and greatest good of human consciousness as well as a planetary consciousness. Those that have divine mission and purpose, Archangel Michael is always by their side helping them steer, helping them clear and clearing for them. To connect with this divine and immaculate being he comes through on the sapphire vibrations of light, the blue, the, the shades of light and dark blue, sapphire vibrations of light. And hence, you can connect through those colors, as well as the, the variations in the shades of purple. If you have crystals that you wish to use to ground that energy, but it is not compulsory to use them, you may use sodalite, lapis lazuli, kyanite, labradorite, amethyst, and he also comes through on the energies of hematite, as well as the fiery carnelian. In pictures, you will come across with a lot of red, a lot of fire in the complexion or surrounding or perhaps a robe that he might be wearing. And that is when he enters his very fiery tempered energy to ward off demons and extreme demonic energies. He is the element of fire that works with the cardinal direction in the south and his symbol is the sword of truth. Archangel Michael's message for today, the download that was given for you that are listening and those that will come to you, is be true to yourselves and follow your heart. If your eyes are opened, I ask you please to very gently close your lids and take a few gentle in and out breaths, quietening your mind and detaching from the thoughts, the noise, the worries and anything else that you've been plagued with and allowing yourself this time to connect with this mighty being. And as you breathe in gently, breathe in peace and love and light. And as you exhale, breathe, in, breathe out the worry 
the fear, the stress, the heaviness. And gently breathing in, the breaths that you take will begin to change colour from the palest of blues into the deeper and more prominent darker shades and perhaps with a tinge of purple. But if you cannot, do not force. Continue at your breath, at your pace, and in your vibration, and it will come to you if your heart, your soul, is open enough to receive it at this time. In peace, in love, in light. Begin to imagine or visualize that you're no longer alone. There's a beautiful presence an essence of divinity emerging very gently in your surrounding, in your space. And as you open your heart center to receive this mighty and beautiful being of light, Greetings, beloved, brothers and sisters of light. It is I, Michael, Michael the Archangel, the warrior of light, the one that sits, that loves, and that adores the Creator Divine. For it is by this grace and presence, I am dutiful. And I love you and I thank you for coming, for meeting me at this time through this channel, through this portal, for you are the chosen ones. We have prepared this group. We have prepared many of your souls prior to your knowledge, without your knowledge and with your soul knowledge. To meet at this time for I have given instruction to take you through a series which began at three but has transgressed to four and then to five and there may be a possibility of one or two extra at the end but we shall leave that as we progress for there is always work to be done And your heart is beautiful, many of you. I love you and I thank you. To be in service and of service and for service of light. Before we begin, I just wish to brief you that I very closely oversee what is going on on your planet and most of you individually. It is chaos, it is mayhem, it is upheaval. It is sad indeed, but yet it is beautiful and welcoming, for without the chaos cannot come the clearing. And as much as I want each and every one of you to partake of the global clearing which we have asked, this specific channel and many others on the planet that we have made contact with, to begin a process with humanity in little bits, because every little bit is adding to the greater. But it is now that she has asked Michael. So many people are coming together, but I think it is necessary for us to take them through a personal clearing, for many are familiar and many are not. So let us start on a very common energy by allowing them to help themselves so that they are in a greater sense of resonance with what is needed on a collective and collected level. And of course, when we come with a common goal of the greater and higher good, 
I will always oblige. And it is gratitude that I give to her at this time for making such a request to help lead you through me into a higher space than mind of consciousness. And so it is. Dear ones, beloved ones, many of you are not new to this planet. And at different incarnations you have received little doses of spiritual awakening. And when you return, we expect for you to continue. But some of you do not and always need the gentle reminders and nudges and sometimes a little bit of a hard kick to wake you up. And today I come with blessings in many, many different ways to help you through this process once again, once more. As we begin the cord cutting, which simply means detaching from everything and everyone and all types of experiences in your memory and consciousness that no longer serve your current growth, your presence your present and it is for this I ask of you please to bring into your vision that you are standing upright in this beautiful cascading blues of energy of different shades and purples and I am overseeing you I place around you a cloak of blue light with a bit of shimmering dusts of purple and as you breathe it in it armors you snugly fitting you shaping your body begin to feel this love this light and these beautiful sparkly activations around you over your shoulders down your arms along your back, your spine, all the way down your body. It's a sense of peace and comfort and a great love for me to know that you are safe and protected. And as you raise your consciousness now into your mind, and feel the calming and relaxing energy and allow that energy to travel down your body through your legs into the earth grounding you. You are become of peace. You are encapsulated in love. And as you feel safe and surrender into my energy, I ask you to bring your focus into the energy frequency of about a meter in front of you. And I stand in front of you sending my shades of blues and purples this beautiful frequency of light into you and I want you to breathe it in and take it in and allow it to very gently flow all over you into you gentle sensations of this light allowing you to open up and have the strength to cut away some of the cords we're about to do I step back a few steps away and allow you to bring into that very space that I held moments ago 
one at a time. People in your lives, and we shall start from your very recent or past of many years ago, whichever is comfortable for you. Bring the ones, one at a time, that you wish to detach from, to disconnect from, to let go from. It could be unpleasant relationships and friendships, marriages, acts of violence or abuse, or whatever it is that you know that you do not wish to have in your life at this time. Bring one person at a time and allow them to stand in front of you. And a line has formed. As you line each one up, one behind the other, and I move away further and further back, allowing you to have that space. And from your navel chakra, your sacral chakra, I want you to visualize there's a cord of blue light that attaches you to that individual at the end of that light connects them to their navel or sacral chakra. And this is the cord that attaches you to each and every one in your life that you have had a positive and a negative experience with. And today we are releasing the ones you do not wish to be connected to. And as you bring the individual in front of you, and remain connected at both ends of light to each other's navel chakra. I wish for you to look at that individual with love, regardless of what your experience is, or was, or has been. It is now we will let go in love and light, for that is the only way we can detach. So as you look at that individual, and you say to them, It is with love that I bring you in my presence. And to heal the situation, I am willing to release you. And I ask that you forgive yourself and listen to that person say to you, please forgive me for this, for that, for whatever it is you know it to be. And you will then respond with love and light if it is your wish to let them go in peace, that I too forgive you, I too love you, and for whatever it was, we have learnt the lesson, and I free you in love and light to go about your journey, your way, as I allow myself to heal, and you to heal, for the highest and greatest good of our soul's journey. For I too forgive and ask forgiveness, for I do not know my intricate play or role in this matter that brought this about. And for whatever wrongs I may have done and committed in a previous life, I forgive you. I forgive myself, and please forgive me. And as you do that, allow the energy to lighten and feel comforting, forgiving, and loving and you will then begin to feel that the cord that attaches you gently dissipates all the way through to that individual and releases itself and detaches you from him or her and you may do this with many others in your life in your family in your place of work, in your social circles, wherever you have felt contempt and hatred and anger and fear, I ask of you to release these individuals. I also ask that you are conscious of who you are releasing because that means that those individuals will no longer play an important role in your life. I 
I will leave you to continue this work for a few moments. You may not be able to get through everybody in this sitting, and therefore we ask you to revisit this particular cord cutting therapy session to repeat on those that you still need to detach from and you are always welcome to refer to it in the future if you need to release any new people that may have triggered you or caused any pain in your life. After each release, you will bow down to each other, bow your heads with your hands in praying position in front of your heart in a very divine greeting and blessing of knowing and meeting one another through whatever the learning experience was, whether it was pain or pleasure or both. It is only from love, people, brothers and sisters, that we are able to heal. I do feel that many of you are going through traumatic releases right now of incredible amounts of abuse on many different levels and as hard and difficult as it is that you have to revisit this time it is incredibly important that you do bravely and with strength as I bless each and every one of you with more strength and courage and confidence and bravery to step into this painful and traumatic experiences to let go of them. It will do you no good to allow these energies to be parasitic, for you to be a host, for these energies to leech off you and weigh and drain you. I will allow you a few more moments to release, to let go, to end in love and light these old dark patterns of abuse, of pain, of trauma, of tragedy, of loss, of allowing yourself to be victim. be it a parent, a sibling, a spouse, a child, a friend, a co-worker, an employer, one in authority, or any justice system that might have failed you unlawfully and justly. Very gently, you stand in your light at the end, free of any attachment of all those you have released. And it is I that moves closer toward you in the spot and I ask of you to look into my eyes, the beautiful sapphire blue, glistening, sparkling eyes. And from my eyes to yours, I send you love and light. So when you look through your physical eyes, your physical lens, that you will only see love in every situation. And you will act from a point of love. You will take in love and project love 
for your physical eyes are the windows to your physical world. And everything you see is what you put into your banks of memory, into your archives of storage. And I want you to see love. I want you to embrace love with new eyes, with new lens. And I very gently move away from your energy field behind you, whilst my hands placed on your shoulders, reassuring you, comforting you and strengthening you, allowing you to be courageous, Enthusiastic. And to continue your work of light, as I will always be by your side, I'm just a call or a thought away. Gently breathe in and out. Bringing back your consciousness, your mind, your heart, your body, into your space, whether you're sitting or standing or laying down. And as you breathe in, you breathe in my love. And as you exhale, you exhale my love all around you. Gently moving your fingers and toes, reminding yourself that you are still very much in the physical. I need to gently bring back your entire being into your current space. And on the next out breath, you may gently open your eyes. The channel, the one I speak through, has asked that I bring you messages through the Oracle deck, the Archangel Michael Oracle deck, which will be used throughout the series, and I have obliged. And so, I will bring you messages. This is the beautiful deck. <sighs> Archangel Michael, please give us messages and guidance, wisdom for our beautiful viewers and light workers, the seekers, the travellers, the ones I love so much, the ones we love so much, and we love you and thank you for your blessings. Please show us or tell us what it is you wish to bring to our attention. I always ask for three, but it is your choice. person you're asking about is a trustworthy. Thank you for helping me have faith so I can open my heart wider to my in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. It is important, beloved brothers and sisters, that as of now, that you always and only invite the ones you can trust, the ones that will be trustworthy. Whether it is in your personal life or in your place of work or in an entertainment or social scene, that spirit, your soul, allows you to gravitate to the ones that you can trust, that will bring you the right energies, the righteous vibrations, and many of you, I ask, and I know, 
have asked if this particular channel is trustworthy and is bringing you the vibrations of light. And the message here is, the person you're asking about is trustworthy, for I shall not channel through anyone that is of the opposite of light. Explore your options. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, understand and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness and life purpose. And again, as a catalyst to the first explanation, it is important that when you do explore your options that you trust enough to explore them, that you are able to receive a trusting energies to explore them, that you operate from the highest consciousness to do so. So you allow the options that you want to explore to carry the right vibration. So if it is a new adventure, a new project or assignment, or something very simple, Trust your higher senses to bring into exploration the right options that will come at the right time. I will help and guide you. This is your life purpose. Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose. And I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I am taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. You are chosen, dear ones. This is part of your life purpose. To help the higher, the greater of humanity and of the planet for you will repeatedly incarnate and if you do not make this part of your life purpose consciously you will return to similar consequences if you look i have asked to point out the channel to point out the circle that is symbolic of this planet, the circle of life, the circle of your planet, and the cycles of timelines, that you do not understand how near and dear is to you in your heart space. For if you hold it closely with the right energies, you will return to only grow ever higher in these righteous energies. Is there anything else, Archangel Michael, that you wish to bring? In a sense, Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. The innocence of your divinity is resonance to divinity, if that at all makes any sense. Your innocence of divinity means that you are able to easily and freely and purely surrender into divinity like the innocence of a child, 
that is unfamiliar with the constraints of life will easily run and jump off the cliff knowing that it can be saved. When you throw a child up in the air, it is delighted and excited, arms thrown out bend, giggling a little bit because it trusts that it will be caught and land in your hand safely, not so. And that is what we are saying about your innocence. Trust us, surrender to divine consciousness and know that we are holding you in the center of our palms like you would hold your child or a little one in the center of your arms. We are always waiting to catch you, to help you. Be innocent. Be pure and divine. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts granting me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. I cleared your eyes, not so. And that was for a reason. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention, and that is to be in the vibration of love. Fear is the opposite of love. Fear is what keeps you stuck, enslaved and restricted, limited and shackled, and the ones of the elite, the powers in the system of life, in your very many firmities, conglomerates, and governments hold you captive in fear, always reminding you of lack and limitation, not so, always reminding you that you will not have, that it is finished, that it is ending, always starting a war in your mind amongst your loved ones and those in your community and nations. Your eyes should be focused on love, for love is what will end the fear. And when the fear ends, all the masks begin to fall and it will begin to birth prosperity from the poverty, victory from the victim, love from the lost, and unconditional love from the basic love. Go forward fearlessly. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand and giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. And this basically sums up what I've been saying. You hold in your arms, between your hands, your crystal ball of light. Shine it bright in your heart. And then you will shine it to others. May I ask for anything else that you wish to bring through? And this will be the final three. Eternal love. 
help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing and giving love. And that is what we've been talking about is love. Love on a vibration that is so divine and pure that it is not mortal, it is eternal. It is unconditionally eternal. And anything that is unconditional is inevitably eternal and vice versa. Positive thoughts create positive results. Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. This affirms your visualization by releasing the one that you had many traumatic or dramatic experiences with in love and light. And that is what it is about. Focusing on positivity. For if we feel the negative, then we become part of it. We are victims of it. And then we cry out for change. It cannot be both ways. You need to decide which side of the fence you're sitting on. As the channel has always said to others, and I have listened to her and tapped her on her shoulder and said, you're quite funny, you know. She says, you can't be half pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not. A favorable outcome. This is my scale of justice. And I weigh every heart against the light. So when you come to me and ask for help, please ensure that your intentions are positive. For if you come to me requesting to harm someone, I will remove the cloak of light I placed around you, for you are not deserving of it. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me. Trust and have faith. I want you to know, beloved ones, children of the earth, of the light, of the divine creator, the sisters and the brothers that are, are known to me from many incarnations, for we work very closely together. The outcome in any aspect of your life is favorable. It is your will, your wish and your choice through the laws of free will to ensure that you work in the positive. And when your request, your intentions are placed on the scales of justice, that they glow with light on both ends. I have permitted the channel to bring you a few charms, which I do feel delights some of you. And so we shall place this box and choose. We have three different angels here, but we will take just one. Always watching over you. You need to trust that I will always be watching over you. I am a call, a thought, an intention, and a frequency of love away. This is a very big and heavy star. You are the stars in the show. Let your star, your inner star, shine bright. There is a card here, which I ask to be shown. Can you see the halo of stars? I want you to light up one at a time and you will create your own halo of stars. The 
tree of life. You are a branch, a stem. As you are growing, you become a thicker stem and become a branch in the tree of life. You are chosen, dear ones, from your ancestral lineage and tree of life to walk this path. You have been entrusted on this journey to bear witness and to participate and your ancestors are rallying around you holding the trunk and saying climb higher bear fruit new leaves and plant many seeds of light This is a moon, a crescent moon with a little galloping reindeer. Break free and gallop forward. Go forward fearlessly. For those that feel stuck and confused, you are being signaled to break free to go forward and know that the outcome is favourable. You have the star and you have the moon and you have the tree of life which is very symbolic of the sun. You have major constellations guiding you. You have three keys and it is quite odd, isn't it? but they are here for a reason. You have a little key, if you see that. Then you have one with a little bit more detail. And you see that? It's showing how you will grow into little intricate and detailed parts of who you are. And then you have a large key. So what I am saying here Is that each of you will open different doors at different times on different levels to move higher but each and every one of you hold the key different keys for different doors as you move forward as you explore your options as you fulfill your life purpose as you engage your eyes and your heart in light. I leave you now and we will progress into part two and part two is about clearing your mental body. Brothers and sisters of light it is I, Mikhail, Michael, the Archangel, the one who is blessed to be at the side of the Divine Creator, the one who is chosen, the one who oversees, the one that is the warrior for your planet. I love and bless you. I take my leave. Beautiful souls, the light family of the portal, the ones that are holding the torches of light, 
the swords of truth with open hearts and only love and light and blessings. I wish each of you the time to repeat the exercise if you wish and to let go and cut cords and know that you always can revisit, re-listen and continue this work. For it is not easy to do them all at once, because there are very painful ones. I myself have practiced this, over lengths of time, to release and re-release energies that I felt were still hovering. When we think about what we released, we keep re-attracting it, so be conscious of that, that a release means it's done and dusted. I also ask, but before I do, I thank you for your, your clicks and your comments and your love and your protection and blessings over the channel, over me, over the people of the planet. And I return that to you manifested abundantly. And may the light of Archangel Michael cover you, your family, your loved ones, your possessions, your places of work, and everything that surrounds you and your life purpose in the highest vibration. I do have a request though. As you are releasing and letting go to walk this path of light for yourself, for your family, on behalf of the planet, that if, as a light worker, you wish to engage in a more conscious way that you allow another who is experiencing the same trauma in their lives that needs to let go of baggage that is weighing them heavily in this life. Please to share this and I ask only because every single one that lets go, that let loose, let's end and conclude and cut off all negative attachments will free them to move closer to their own and personal goals and to help the planet as a collective. The dark energies leech off those that are dark and toxic and are trying so desperately to free themselves but cannot, they're shackled, and you are the torchbearers for that. And as I share this with you freely, I ask that you share it freely with those that will benefit. And that is part of your life purpose, to work selflessly, unselfishly in light. We need to drop the curtains we need to get the divine to travel much closer to us, to come closer. And we can do that by dropping the veils of darkness. And I love you and I thank you and I bless you until next.